Girl, you got to work. Supermodel, remember that great song by RuPaul? Well, he's about to join us. And Sandra, an actress and a beauty consultant in her own right, is joining us. You're going to see very quickly who she's related to. And uh, they're joining us right now about their hit show called Good Work. It follows Botched on E. Welcome to the show. And Sandra, are you a little bit nervous sitting next to the lead, former lead singer of Wee Wee Pole? Yes, she of is. Of course she I is. am. And I'm, I'm nervous and I'm like flattered as well <laughs> that I get to be sitting next to this legend. Young legend. Yes. Indeed. And uh, RuPaul, we're so proud of you here in Atlanta. You went to high school here. Well, you know, Atlanta, Georgia was uh, was uh, my sort of portal into show business, and uh, I, it, it's so near and dear to my heart. I love it. Although, what's funny about Atlanta now is that the Atlanta that I grew up in and the Atlanta now is like someone who's had a complete sexual reassignment surgery. Talk about good work. It is. I, I know it's the same city. But it's completely changed. Like it's had a complete facelift, uh, reconstructive lipo. surgery, lipo, everything. Well, we are certainly so proud of you here from Atlanta. And uh, Sandra, I'd just like you to comment. What is the key thing that makes RuPaul so beautiful? To be honest, completely honest, uh, it is his authenticity, authenticity and actual care for, all, for everybody else. He's very empathetic and um, empathic and that beauty comes from within and he's got a lot of secrets that he <laughs> will be sharing with everyone because you know he is a uh, he's he he's pro surgery pro tricks pro makeup he's he loves it all and it's beautiful that he you know he came out of the closet with a plastic surgery a long time ago <laughs> well, we certainly can see it but rupaul has turned the tables and ask you, what do you think makes Sandra so beautiful? Well, well, Sandra is a lovely, genuine sweetheart. And that's why when she talks about plastic surgery or the tricks of the trade, they're coming from an authentic place. The intention is pure love and pure joy about being a human being. And all of the tricks you can learn uh, to maintain a, a healthy life. This show, Good Work, which follows Botched on E, uh, uh, 10 o'clock on E, is all about the secrets of beauty, the secrets of maintaining a, a healthy looking body and uh, a healthy mind. And that it's attainable, that it's not like, a, like the, 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 those women that you see in magazines or, or up, up uh, in the stage, it takes work. It takes, you know, it's, it takes they don't wake work. up like that, not, not, not all. All right, now, RuPaul, I know your show is called Good Works, but you're a man of style throughout the years. Explain how we can bring it. Well, the secret is you have to be, you have to be aware that you are an extension of the power that created this universe. So don't be afraid of your beauty. I know that a lot of people, men in particular, don't want to bring that attention to themselves because of the responsibility it takes to be uh, the peacock that you are. And the same is true for women. A lot of women don't want to dress up or bring attention to themselves because, because a lot of times there's a, a big responsibility that comes with it. What I, my advice to you is accept the responsibility, be who you are. Be, you are not here to blend in. You are here to stand out. Exactly. It's all about confidence. Sandra, I totally agree with you about the word confidence. So what advice do you have for us to bring it? Uh, the advice is get out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid and do whatever it takes um, in order to feel good with yourself. But especially start with inside. I know it sounds like, like, a, like what everybody says, but you can get all the good work you want in, in the world, but if, it, if, if inside is not there, no one's gonna see it. So like Ruth said, get that confidence and then get the good work. That's right, because if you don't love yourself, baby, how in the hell you gonna love somebody else? Yes. <laughs> well, we certainly love you both and RuPaul, I know you said you grew up in Atlanta, but what gave you the confidence to come out so early in your life? 
Yeah, I, I came out right after World War II, and uh, it was a different. It was a different time back then, Khan. You know, um, you know. Honestly, I, I feel like I, I had no choice. I feel like I had to live my life. You know, I come from uh, a mother who was completely punk rock. Her her idea toward the world was, you know what? If they ain't paying your bills, you pay them no mind. And and that's what that's the approach we take with this show. Good work. You know, good. T- t- maintaining your body has come out of the closet, and we are, we are saying embrace the fact that we live longer, take care of yourself. You know my, one of my favorite movies, Sandra, is um, <laughs> Death Becomes Her, <laughs> because I mean, the advice they have for them is take care of your body. You're going to have it for a long time, and that is uh, so true today because people live so much longer. Yes. Well, Paul, that is great advice. Both of you have given us such great insights, and we know that we can get even more on your brand new show called Good Work. It's been a pleasure talking to both of you. And, Paul, we can't wait to welcome you back to Atlanta someday soon. That's right. And the South will rise again. <laughs>